What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, guys, I'm feeling uh, bright and fresh and relaxed and happy and all the good stuff. So yeah. how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah? I'm feeling pretty good. Pretty good, pretty great, pretty great, pretty good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Life is good, friends. Life is good. Yes. Well, I went to town the other day. Um, I had some errands to run and things to do, you know, laundry again. Yep. <laughs> and um, I ended up popping into the P.O. box and there were some goodies inside. Hey. So we're going to be doing a, uh, a quick mail call. I want to say thank you guys for sending this to us. You guys never have to send us anything, but it is so awesome when you do. So thank you to, uh, to everybody. I'm not sure if there's names on all this yet. Um, but without further ado, you ready to do a mail call? Yeah, we can get on into it. All right. So this right here says um, to deliver to SLR for the tree house. So I already know that it's something good inside this. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That is awesome. So thank you ahead of time. Um, as you know, we're postponing the tree house just for a little bit. But I do have a nice stash, an assortment of goodies that we are going to be using for the tree house build. So we're just going to add this to the collection and you guys will be seeing it in a video here soon. So yes. thank you guys so much for sending it. Let's go ahead and open this up. This is, ooh, I got a note. I got a note. Well, it just says enjoy your gift. I believe this was from Aunt D though. It doesn't say anything on here, but I believe it is from Aunt D, one of our amazing subscribers. So thank, thank you, you so much for this. Cause um, I have checked in the comment section and she said she was sending some stuff to us. So this has gotta be it. Yes. It's got to be from her. From her. So thank you, Aunt D. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. I know the kids are going to have a, a, heyday. a heyday with it. Yeah. Oh, man. Check it out, Gary. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. That is awesome. Let's see if there's a red light, green light card game. Oh, it is. It is Aunt D. It says, uh, a gift for you for the treehouse. Much love, Aunt D. Uh, in India, Indianapolis. That's right. I remembered Aunt D. Thank you so much for this. I remember playing a red light, green light when I was a kid. Smack it card game. Ooh. I'm assuming it's almost like a slapjack. Ooh. Or a, I think that's what it yeah, was. Slapjack. Like. slapjack right? Yeah, slapjack. Yeah. How and fun! Then solar fairy string lights. Ooh. <gasps> How pretty! That is so fun and pretty and thoughtful. Thank you so much. Oh, you know, when I was a kid, um, I used Ooh, to have okay. a game called Millie Born. Did you ever play Millie Born? It was a card game. It was kind of like a red light, green light type of thing. It was like a card. Sounds game. familiar. Have, Sounds familiar. You ever play Millie Born? I imagine that this is kind of. Um, an easier, like an easier to learn game for like younger kids so Abe can play it and stuff, but it, it's probably a lot like that. Probably. You know, and then you're right, that's probably like a slapjack. That those is, look, those lights cool. look super pretty too. It that says is super cool. 120 LED each. So, and it's a two pack, so I'm, I'm assuming it's 120 each. String? Each string. That is super awesome. That's gonna look beautiful super, super on the awesome. kids' deck. Yeah, and like are, on the top of it. Kids are gonna really enjoy that. Thank you so can, much, Aunt D. They're gonna they're gonna have fun in there. I know that. We're gonna it's have gonna to be... stash those away. Mm -hmm. Well, we will. We'll stash these away with the other uh, stuff for the treehouse. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be good. Thank you so much for sending that, honey. We, again, you guys never have to send us anything, but it is so thoughtful and we absolutely love it when you guys do. Yeah. And the kids are gonna be very grateful as well. Yes. So thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. We got another one here. This is for Simple Life Reclaimed and Kids. So the kids are gonna be enjoying this as well. Um, let's see what's inside here. It's from B. Rent Chanel uh, from Wisconsin, Sheboygan Falls. Sheboygan. Yeah, that's Wisconsin, right? Yeah, yes. that's Wisconsin. Sheboygan Falls. That's a fun word to say, Sheboygan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> oh my oh. goodness. There's no note in here, but it does say B Rent Chanel. So thank you so much for that. Um, and it's some sweets. So these sweets can go along with their games. Or maybe we can give it to them tonight and let them have a family movie or something. Yeah. Cause those aren't gonna, those aren't gonna last long. <laughs> no, you probably shouldn't have given them to me. I mean, I'm no, just... <laughs> you are not stealing from the children. Uh, uh, shame on you. It said, it said for, 
<laughs> SLR and kids. I mean, no. <laughs> it's for the kids. Shame on you. Twizzlers and gummy worms, friends. The kids are going to be very happy. Thank you so, yes. so much for that. I won't feed it. I'll let the kids have them. You better not. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> I'm a candy junkie, all right? Yeah, he is. He oh, is. the kids leave candy around. It's like, well, you didn't put it away. It's mine now. Gary, oh, when we get like, when it comes closer to the um, the holiday season, I usually will put out like this big cauldron. And it's a cauldron because it's from my old Halloween decorations. Anyway, I use it like all all Halloween. All Halloween, and I usually will bust out the same thing again for Christmas because it's just a big black bowl, essentially. No. Um, anyway, and I usually fill it up with candy so that way we have little snacks to go and munch on, like, you know, the big um, fun size things. And Gary is the number one culprit, more than me and more than the kids. That's I'll look the... on his side of the bed, like the end table, and there's like a mountain <laughs> of wrappers, you know, like I'm talking a mountain of wrappers. And I'm like, dang, Gary, you got down last night. And he's all, I just had a few. I'm all, a few? Hey, it's been a habitual all thing right. in our long time marriage, but it's, hey, it's all good. If it's in the bowl it, and I go to go to bed, it's you know I'm going to grab that bowl and be like, this is my midnight snack. And I set the bowl <laughs> down and I start to go to town, man. And yeah, it's only at the end of the year when I get that way, too. Yeah. Like during this time of the year, I don't really eat that much sweets. No, and we don't usually the... have it around the house either. No. I would say, you know what? I would say Easter in the spring. No, we usually that's like have the last go. That's the last it. go of the candy. Um, because we don't even get a lot for Valentine's Day and stuff either. We just don't. No. We usually gourd ourselves out during Halloween. And I'm hey, I'm not completely throwing you under the bus. I usually will have some wrappers by my bedside too. But you got a mountain, and I got I a little do. molehill. <laughs> But I still, I'll feast. I'm, I got no shame in my game. I'll feast. Um, but yeah, it usually starts around Halloween. And then by the time that New Year is there, we're like, our gut is so <laughs> sour from the sweets. We're like, oh, no more chocolate. That's normally when we also, you know, schedule our dentist appointments too. It's yeah. like, all right, I've eaten too much. Now I feel like I've got a cavity. What did I do? <laughs> it's our one year checkup. And you're fine until... Hi, Maura. Hello, Maura. Oh, you're wet. Oh, you're wet. I don't want you no more. Nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say hello to you, but you're all wet. You found a puddle to play in, eh? Didn't have enough water today? I guess not. Well, thank you so much. Thank I know the kids are going to really enjoy the sweets. Yes, like they're going to... They will enjoy I'm the fine. sweets. They're going to have a very good time with it. Thank you so much for sending it. We will either... Um, let them have a, a movie night tonight. No. Or we'll just divvy it up and make them share. They'll probably get down on some games and play. Because our kids really enjoy playing card games. They do. I don't know if we'll be able to make them wait for the no. for the treehouse for this. But I do plan to have like a little game box inside the treehouse. And these are going to go in the treehouse for their yep. game box. But you're right. We could play this with them even like tonight. Mm -hmm. You know? It's, hey man new games they're, they're always like hey yeah okay. yeah and they'll want to probably learn how to play it before they get up in there oh to I, I would rather them know how to play it before they get up there too otherwise yeah no but no. anyhow this last one friends is from c and g harper um it looks like from Belvedere, Illinois. So thank you so much and this one is labeled to slr and crc so i'm going to open it up and then whatever I can tell is for CRC. I will make sure to walk it up over the hill tonight because we have plans to go hang out with Anthony and Roxanne and kind of just chill and, yep. you know, summer recap and regroup and all that stuff. So I will bring it to them this evening. Yep. Let's see what's inside here, though. I had a nice seal. Satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what's inside here. Okay, well, I could first off, I could see a letter that says Gary and Mel. And this one says Anthony and Rox. So I'm going to stick Anthony and Rox's back in there. Ooh, and here is, this is very cool. So what I, I'm, I'm going to read the letter to y'all too. Um, what we've got right here is these are Lunt Solar System Solar Glasses. These are uh, solar telescope and filters. So 
These are glasses, so you can see like a solar eclipse. And by the looks of it, I'm gonna read the letter and find out. It looks like it's a solar eclipse map. Go ahead and show that to the that screen, is. babe. Hmm. And I'm assuming, yeah, these look like duplicates. So one's gonna be for us and one's gonna be for Ant and Rock. So I'll stuff that back in the bag and I'll keep this one for ourselves. We're gonna have to um, get three of those out and stuff it inside here mm -hmm. for, or two of them at least. So let me check out this letter. That's it. This is a very interesting, very intriguing, right up our alley. Um, Gary and Mel, my husband and I have been watching your channel for some time now. It's been wonderful to watch you build your dream. Garrett, my husband, is an amateur astronomer, astro astronomer, I'm sorry, tongue-tied, and an amateur astrophotographer. He's been making notes for what the next solar eclipse will be happening and where totality will be. There is a partial solar eclipse happening October 14th, 2023, so this year, and a full solar eclipse April 8th, 2024. Oh, Both will go right over your heads. How awesome is that? He thought you and the kids might enjoy direct viewing solar glasses to watch the eclipses. They have special coating to be able to look at the sun with them. Best wishes, Cindy and Garrett. That's cool. We've included enough for CRC's family too. Thank you so much, Cindy and Garrett. How thoughtful of you and that what an awesome. interesting hobby. That is super cool. And you know what? Um, you're absolutely right. According to this map, it will be going like right over our head. Yeah. So that's really neat. The, the 2023 one though won't be, but the 2024 one will be. If I'm reading the map correctly. What do you what do you think? You're a better map reader than I am. 23. Yeah. So like 2024, so but even still we should be able to see it. We might not be able to see it until close to like 1150-ish. I mean, maybe. We I could, would think, right? we'll, We or will try. Part, we might be able to see a glimpse of something. On October 14th. So we should set our calendars for that. October 14th, partial solar eclipse. And then April 8th. And then April 8th. 2024. Uh, you know what? Where's my phone? That would be really, really cool right there. I'm actually going to set it on my phone right now because that is so cool. That is really cool. What a thoughtful gift that you can send us. An, a gift that's an experience mm -hmm. and something that our children have never experienced or seen. And I know that our kids would absolutely love it, especially like Wyatt. Yeah. Wyatt would love it too. Wow. Well, I got that put in our calendar and I am super excited to check that out, man. That's very, very cool. That is super awesome. Thank right. you for the gift of an experience. Yeah. I remember, uh, there was one when we were, uh, kids or whatnot, that, and we didn't have the special thing to be able to look at it. So, and I wasn't part of the science class that made the special thing to go and do it. Oh. So we were stuck in the school, like, man, <laughs> now we get to go see it. I saw one in like the nineties in California. I must've been in like third grade or something. And I was a part of the science thing. See? Yeah, I was. <laughs> so I did get to see one. But I don't remember what year it was. I think I was probably in third grade or so, and it was in California, um, mid-90s. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in the letter, it says that he's like an amateur um, photographer when it comes to the sky and stuff. So maybe you can send me a few pointers, because how cool would that be? If I could maybe put like the glasses over the lens or something somehow, or even maybe it's not even necessary. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it would be necessary. If I could just video it. I think that you would be able to, but I don't know. That's I don't know enough question. about it either. So maybe you can send me an email. There is no um, email or anything on how to get a hold of you, but maybe your husband, if you're watching this, um, can email me and send me a few pointers. Granted, I can always go online and check it out myself, but I'd rather, you know, have a direct conversation with somebody who knows how to do it already. Yeah. It's always better that way. 
So, yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for sending us this stuff, especially for loving on our children. It's extremely kind of you, and we really appreciate it. Yes. Well, um, it's been another uh, crazy day of weather, and I'm assuming it's going to be like this for the rest of this week, but we're just going to have to keep playing it by ear and finding out. Nope. Um, Gary's got to be working on that washing machine here in another day or so. We've been keeping a close eye on the tracking, and it's now going to be towards the end of the week. So nope. we're just going to keep patiently waiting for it and um, getting as much done as we possibly can around here. I'm going to try to scrap together some footage and get you guys out of video here soon. So hope that you guys stick around for that. Um, but as usual, friends, we love you all. And until the next one, we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.